it's a scene that's going to be becoming all too familiar in the province, and uh, people in this province are dealing with it in, in typical Saskatchewan style and fashion. They're helping each other out and witness what's been happening here in Yorkton with a real broad community effort and uh, the from, from groups like the Kinsmen and the Red Cross, Salvation Army, local groups, people coming in from all over the province, volunteer firefighters are pitching in and and uh, it's uh, it's quite an amazing thing to see. We wish obviously it wasn't necessary. But the... yeah, I phoned the Prime Minister Monday. Uh, the next day there was advanced people on the ground checking out the chance to at least have a look at the agricultural crisis and hear firsthand from Yorkton officials about what was happening in the city the next day. And so I want to say, uh, though he's not here, I've thanked him privately, I'll thank him publicly. Thank the Prime Minister and the federal government for that prompt response uh, uh, based on a phone call on Monday. And I also want to acknowledge and thank the federal government for their support of some agricultural help. This is going to be very important, that $30 an acre. I also want to uh, acknowledge and thank the federal government for their uh, share of 60 percent funding for this important federal uh, agriculture, federal provincial agriculture initiative. I want to acknowledge our agriculture minister Bob Benrod and uh, the uh, and Jerry Rents, the federal minister and the federal MPs in Saskatchewan, who worked hard in to put together a you know a half a billion dollar program in very short order for agriculture when they needed it. Hopefully, the payments can start flowing as soon as possible. We're probably at around $283 million, uh, maybe a little bit north of that. I think that number will grow. That's municipal damage, that's private property damage, that's highway damage. A lot of highways are in, uh, have, there's a significant amount of stress on the highways. Of course, the Trans-Canada was uh, basically, uh, there was a giant sinkhole in the middle of the Trans-Canada there. That has been, uh, it's going to be a costly project. Probably $20 million in highways and growing. As the water recedes, we'll get a better idea of how the highways have been compromised for the longer term. Uh, the Provincial Disaster Assistance Program used to pay out in about 12 months. That's the earliest people got help, cash help. We were able to provide an advance to the people of Maple Creek in a week. Uh, where We don't know if we can get there uh, in the terms of a week here in Yorkton, but it'll be in short order, where people who really need it are going to get, and they've applied for PDAP for Provincial Disaster Assistance, they're going to get some money soon and very soon, even if it's only a, a bit of a deposit. And we won't know the ratio of federal help or not. We're not going to worry about. We're going to worry about our getting getting the money out. That's our job. We're going to do that as quickly as possible, and we'll deal with the federal government behind the scenes. What was the